Okay, we'll try this again, guys. I tried to do this video yesterday morning, and uh, it shut me off after like 20 minutes. It said the space was full. So I guess I'm gonna put my cell phone on, and I'm gonna keep myself a running timer, and if I get close to 15 minutes, I'm just gonna shut it down. And hopefully, um, that'll work for me. So, we gotta finish up this section, okay? Uh, let's see, we set it for like 12 minutes. So, we have to finish up this section. We're talking about the composition of functions. And before we get into these, I wanna talk about these. So let's take a look over here, okay? Here are my two functions, okay? I wanna find f of g of x, and so that means I wanna substitute whatever g of x is, okay, into the parentheses. So I'm gonna find f of x squared. Why? Because g of x is equal to x squared. So over here, it was, you guys, it was okay to substitute an a in, it was okay to substitute x over x squared, even though when you look at these separately, you would say it's um, all real numbers here, we know we can't have zero, okay, but that's, we covered that in the first video. So the next one, g of f of x, so whatever is in parentheses, I gotta take my f of x, I gotta see what f of x is, that's 3x, so I'm gonna find g of 3x. So my g function says that whatever is in parentheses, I square it. So this is going to be 3x all squared. Okay, so 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And again, my domain is going to be all real numbers. Okay, so let's look at one that has to deal with a fraction, so that our domain, we're going to have to think about our domain a little bit. We're not just going to be able to do what we did there. So. Let's say that f of x equals 3x to the negative 1 power, okay, and g of x is 2x minus 1. So, they want to find f of g of x, let's see what else, g of f of x, and then we'll do one more after that, okay. So for this one, I want to find f of whatever g of x is. g of x is 2x minus 1. So I replace the gx my, g of x with 2x minus 1. And so here, in my f function, 
it says that whatever's in parentheses, I multiply it by 3, but I take it to the negative 1 power. This is going to be 3 times 2x minus 1 to the negative 1 power. Now, negative 1 power means it goes down bottom. The 3 is not attached to that. So the 3 stays on top, and then I have 2x minus 1 here. Let's look at our domain here. Okay, let's, let's look at our domain and, look, and let's consider um, what, what's going to happen here. All right, what, what do we see here? What do we see that's going to be a problem? Okay, we see this x on the bottom. So your x is on the bottom, so we know that x cannot be, x cannot be a half. Because if x was a half, 2 times a half is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0, so we can't have that. So my domain, you could say, is x cannot be a half. Um, you could also um, say all real numbers except for a half, or you could write it this way. Negative infinity to a half, the parentheses means we don't include it, and then a half to infinity. Okay? Next one, g of f of x. g of f of x. So I want to find g of whatever f of x is, that's 3x. And, and you know what? You know what I can do with that? I can write that as 3 over x. Okay, I can write that as 3 over x. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find g of 3 over x. So that means I'm going to have 2 times 3 over x minus 1. So that's going to be 6 over x minus 1. Okay, so there's my function. Let me see if they rewrite that. No, they leave it like that. So Let's think of our domain. What 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 is the problem here? We have a fraction, right? When we have a fraction, we have to go and consider that. So here, x cannot be zero. Okay? And then you could also write it as negative infinity common to zero to zero to infinity. Okay? One more. One more, one more. Um, let's see, f of f of x, let's do f of f of x, and I think I use the same functions for that. Um, Alright, here we go. So, we go f of whatever f of x is. Well, we talked about that being 3 over x, so let's do that. 3 over x. Now, the f function says we, multiply, so we take 3 times whatever's in parentheses to the negative 1 power. Well, let's see what that means. If you take something to the, a fraction to the negative 1 power, it means you flip it. So it's going to be x over 3. So my 3's cancel, and this equals x. Now for my domain, I still have to go back and look. I, you know, you're going to say, well, the domain is x. Yeah, but when we started this off, we had 3 over x, so x can't be 0 in that. Just like in this one, x couldn't be 0. Same thing here. Okay? So, there we go. See if I made it in my time. See if this video is going to save. I think so. Okay, so hopefully... Hopefully that makes sense. Seven three, you should have enough to do your uh, do the problems in the section. If you have any questions, send me an email.